Hi, this is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. I have a simple message today, and that is obesity is starvation. Now, this may seem kind of strange, because obesity seems like uh, it's a result of eating too much, exercising too little. Uh, we take in more calories than we burn, and we get fat. We accumulate all this uh, extra body mass because of it. Um, that's not really true. Obesity is actually starvation, and I'll explain why. There's a hormone in the body called leptin. Leptin is produced by the fat cells. Leptin then communicates to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is basically in charge. It's, it's mission control. Uh, it tells, let's say, for example, the thyroid what to do. Okay, so if leptin is low in the fat, it means that there's not very much fat tissue in the body and, you know, in a typical person. But the leptin, when it's low, uh, the hypothalamus uh, regards that as a sign of starvation. So in terms of the thyroid, it slows down the thyroid, tells the thyroid, hey, uh, we've got a situation on our hands here. Uh, looks like we're entering starvation. We need to burn fewer calories here. And uh, why don't we go ahead and let's, let's turn down things a, a little bit, see if we can conserve calories. Um, so that's just one of the mechanisms that goes in. Another thing your body will do is shed lean body mass. Uh, muscles, organs, bones, that's your lean body mass. It's active tissue. It burns a lot of calories. So guess what? When your body thinks it's in starvation and it thinks it's starving, it will do that uh, and instead use the food that you ingest, those calories, and it will be less likely to store it in lean body tissue or use it as energy more likely to store that energy up. Again, having a low body temperature is the best, by far the best indicator of whether your metabolism is running as if you're not in starvation or whether your metabolism is running as if you're in starvation. Uh, now you can be starving, actually starving, and have a low body temperature. Or you can weigh 400 pounds and have a low body temperature where your body is running at a low metabolism. Now this doesn't seem to make any sense. If we weigh 400 pounds, we're not starving to death. We don't need to take in more food. We're probably, you know, we've already taken in 200 pounds worth of fat of extra food. So why is our body, uh, you know, why is it starving? Why is it telling us that it's starving? Well, the body actually can become resistant to the hormone leptin. So. Instead of leptin, which increases as the body fat increases, instead of the leptin being able to communicate back to the hypothalamus and say, hey, buddy, we're starving here, um, it, or, or when it increases, you know, communicate to the hypothalamus, whoa, whoa, slow down, we got plenty of food, we're getting fat, you know, we're, you're going to weigh us down here, okay, it's becoming unhealthy how much fat we've had here, we need to, you know, cut back our appetite, um, we need to uh, burn a lot more energy. We need to raise the body temperature. Uh, we need to overcome that insulin resistance thing that we had going that was helping us to store all that body fat. Okay, we need to reverse that and burn some of this body fat off. And then you have this nice homeostatic uh, system. But people can be, uh, in, in the obese, un undoubtedly are uh, resistant to the hormone leptin. So instead of their hunger being turned off and their metabolism shot up, uh, they just keep going and going and going and going in a, in a perpetual state, uh, functionally, of starvation. And, uh, you know, you have a serious problem there. So obesity is not something that we consciously choose to become. Uh, nobody wants to be uh, four or 500 pounds. It's not healthy to be four or 500 pounds. But uh, the irony is that trying to eat less when you're hungry and trying to exercise more when you're tired and lethargic, which is another symptom of starvation, um, it's actually counterproductive, which is why you know, kids that start dieting at a young age have a much, much higher probability of becoming obese. Uh, dieting takes a problem and exacerbates that problem. Uh, so dieting is a huge, huge failure, will always continue to be a failure. You have to understand what causes leptin resistance, and believe me, that's something that the whole world is working on. Leptin, um, you know, 1994 is when it was discovered. So it's a very recent discovery. People are delving in to try to understand what causes leptin resistance. Um, you know, some of the leading candidates would be excess fructose consumption. Uh, another one would be inflammation. So 
certain biomarkers of inflammation like um, interleukin-6, uh, another molecule called tumor necrosis factor alpha. Uh, these substances cause a lot of inflammation, and in response to that inflammation, our bodies secrete a lot of cortisol. It also secretes, uh, secretes another substance, which I just recently learned out about, called SOX, S-O-C-S. Uh, that stands for Suppression of Cytokine Signaling, and that's in response, to, you know, that's secreted in response to turn down all that extra production of that interleukin-6 and tumorous uh, TNF-alpha and some of those other inflammatory molecules, uh, the cytokines that our body secretes to uh, basically, you know, meet any kind of uh, infection or allergen or, you know, some kind of free radical damage, cellular damage, whatever it is, our body's inflammatory response is just huge. And these two molecules, the, the uh, SOCS and also the hormone cortisol, have by far the closest association with being able to block the action of, of, uh, of leptin. So anyways, very clear, simple uh, message in, the, in this uh, video. Obesity is starvation, plain and simple, uh, because the hormone leptin is not working. When it's not working, the body thinks it's starving, and it acts as if uh, it's protecting itself from famine. So again, you know, 180 degree health, I'm going to be looking into this matter uh, for years to come to try to really solve the question of how we can overcome leptin resistance. When you can overcome that, uh, a lot of the modern 21st century health problems uh, will simply go away. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, they know, you know, in simple mouse studies in which they produce a genetic strain where the rats can't produce the hormone leptin. Injecting leptin is the solution to all their problems. You know, their obesity, their high blood sugars, their uh, insulin resistance, uh, their low metabolism, and the long, long list of symptoms that can stem from metabolism. So, anyways, please share this with someone who is uh, obese, overweight, has been struggling with it their whole lives. They take it personal. They think their failures in diet were their problem. No, actually their body was uh, telling them that they were in starvation, which explains a lot. So anyways, thanks again. This is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health.